They say you don't need to learn code to become a web designer. That is true in many senses in that the technology has certainly improved for a lot of the software that you can buy that is considered no code software. It usually involves doing drag and drop type of interfaces so that you can plan your web pages visually. And many graphic designers have taken on web design jobs using this type of software and have been very successful using it to conduct their website businesses. So I would say that that is in fact true. However, when you learned to code, it gives you increasing opportunities to do more with web design. Because when you learn to code, it means that you understand the fundamentals behind what's going on in this type of software. And if you need to build something that goes beyond the software, then you can do it because you know how to code. As an example, I also build using WordPress sites. The reason I do that is many times a client wants a content management system, meaning they want to be able to update that site on their own after I build it. And so typically in order to do that, you need a content management system because, you know, customers don't know how to code. And so they can't alter the code when, you know, you're not there anymore. So I do build a lot of sites using WordPress, but by knowing CSS, Cascading Style Sheets, which is one of the languages that I teach, I can override what's going on in a WordPress template. So it gives you a lot more flexibility to build a design that you actually want, because if the theme that you've chosen for your client doesn't quite do what the client wants, you can always override it by understanding CSS coding and fixing that problem for them. In addition, by learning PHP and MySQL, I'm able to also create custom themes for WordPress. When you're using something like WordPress, you typically are picking a template out of a, a list of templates that are provided, either free or paid. And sometimes the templates are what your client wants, and other times they're kind of close to what your client wants, but not quite. So in those cases, by understanding how to actually build a template yourself, you can provide that custom solution for your client. And you only do that by understanding how those WordPress themes are built and the coding that's behind that theme building. In addition, you can basically create a custom theme for them because, you know, websites, in order to get attention these days, they need to be unique. When you're using templates, you're building a website that looks pretty much like every other website that's out there. But when you understand coding, you can build unique websites for your clients and that makes you someone that can charge more. That gives you greater opportunities to work with clients that you know, really want a custom solution because clients can learn WordPress too. You know, It's a free open source content management system. And if you're not providing something unique and custom for them, they may just decide, I'll just do it myself because I can learn this. So coding is a skill that really provides you more opportunities when you're a web designer. So yes, can you get by building websites using software? Sure, but if you understand coding, you know how to code, you can do way more than the basics. And that makes you someone that's sought after, that makes you someone that can charge more, and that makes you someone who really understands what's going on with web design. Presented by Designers Learn Code.